and signs everywhere. Signs, signs for your business and signs for your ride. Sign Bros is the place where we make your signs. Hello. 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 <laughs> Welcome to the Sign Bros cast. We are the Sign Bros and we welcome you uh, with us, a special guest, Mr. Cesar. Valenzuela, pro boxer from El Paso, Texas. Yes, right. Yeah. Thanks, guys. Yes, yes. Hey, nice. It's an awesome city, guys. Got proud to be here, man. Thank yeah. you. Appreciate that. Yeah, Appreciate definitely. That. We 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 wanted to invite you. We don't want to get beat up, so we're, no. no, yeah. no, no, no. <laughs> We'd be nice. We'd be nice. <laughs> Training and what's going yeah, on? Yeah. Well, I've been off already for a, let's see about a year. My last fight was in New York. Uh, you guys were awesome. Uh, with the shirts that came out uh, great. I mm-hmm. definitely encourage anybody that has any sort of um, activity involving attention or in the marketing field to reach out to you guys. You guys are really, uh, really good, it. really good at that, Thank actually. You. Tell, tell uh, us a little bit about that last fight. And yeah. the last fight, actually, this is pretty cool. Um, I fought, uh, his name was Richardson Hitchens. He's still undefeated. I checked him out. He was He's at 15 and 0. Well. And he is an ex-Olympian. Uh, 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 yeah, so th- what happened there was that they reached out to me like, hey, Cesar, um, you fought Virgil Ortiz right now, an ongoing superstar tr- up in the in the trends, mm. and we saw that you actually did pretty good. Let's measure you up to this other cat right here, and uh, he's actually very fast, uh, very, very powerful with his hooks, and well, you know, the world of boxing is quite a, quite a risk. If you want to go Absolutely. somewhere, you gotta you gotta risk it to like get the biscuit. Absolutely. They don't say that for nothing, right? <laughs> like so, that. yeah, you gotta yeah. risk it to get the biscuit. Gotta like bit, that, yeah. Yeah. yeah, and I like biscuits. <laughs> <laughs> so, so, so I lost the fight. If, uh, if that's uh, that's the outcome that happened, but we went the distance. Uh, nice. The video's up on the YouTube. You can look into it. Uh, Cesar Valenzuela versus uh, Richardson Hitchens. Um, your shirt came out pretty cool at, oh, the, nice. uh, at, 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 at the intro, uh, El Paso. Madison. That was not at the Madison. Uh, that was uh, at the other one. Um, Barclays. Barclays. Oh, Thank you. Right. I could not remember to say my name. That's in Brooklyn. That's in Brooklyn. That's Brooklyn. That's Brooklyn. Yeah, that was mm-hmm. the undercard of Danny Garcia oh, and okay. Sean Porter. Oh, yes. Uh, Sean Porter took that fight. Yes. Uh, I got to meet uh, Danny Garcia and all these other guys, including... Oh, nice. Um, yeah, I don't know if you guys know who Keith, uh, I mean, not Keith, uh, the Thurman is, um, Keith Thurman, Keith Thurman. So, I was, uh, was honored to, to have him as my, um, what do you call it, like, uh, the commentator from during my fight. Yeah. Oh, nice. And, you know, uh, most of the comments he said were pretty genuine and they were actually, uh, in my favor. You know, Positive. Me, yeah, yeah, you know, Miss uh, Caesar got hit. He's still standing. Oh yeah, <laughs> the other guy's good, but he's still there. You know, yeah, like yeah. it's round one, two, three, four. Of course, uh, still hanging around. I'm still, hanging still hanging throwing around. my jabs. I'm still landing my counters. The other guy's sweating. I'm still in the work. A um, uh, little bit of history on I me. Mean, I started boxing because I have asthma. So oh. every time that I feel like I get a little bit wheezy, mm-hmm. I get back on, on the on the gym, oh, nice. right? And, wow. and I know I know you mentioned earlier. Um, uh, I uh, I train at, out of uh, the, uh, the Carolina Recreation Center. Um, I do have a day job. That's probably that's why you're nice. you a lawyer or what? <laughs> I'm not a lawyer. I'm a software engineer. Nice. Oh, nice. I'm, a, I'm a software engineer, and that's uh, that's another one of the nice comments I heard when the, on, on during my fight. You know, until and they they ask you what do you do on the side job, and then they pass them on to the commentator so mm-hmm. they can talk about it as mm-hmm. the fight's going on. And they when they bring that up. Uh, one of the comments I like to hear is, well, you know what, an there's an engineer who's fighting and uh, typically there's this uh, idea that boxers aren't that up there. Yeah. yeah. And <laughs> I think I, I, not only do I stand out as an example, but there's a lot, a lot, a lot of boxers that are wow. very yeah. smart with a degree that we don't know yeah. about. Yeah. Yeah. It's just a talent that we like to have and we like to uh, work out every once in a while. Sure. Very awesome. cool, man. Can, can we go back? Tell us about your amateur career. Like, how, where, where you started here in El Paso? Different. You're from here in El Paso, right? I was born, born in Juarez. Juarez. Born I was Juarez. born in Juarez. I, I came over to El Paso, started boxing around, what was like 13 or something oh, like okay. that, okay. Uh, due to severe asthma attacks. It was just chronic attacks, one wow. after the other. So, uh, a cousin of mine, uh, Jesus Martinez, uh, reached out and like, hey, my gym just moved out to where you live. You guys want to come over? And... Uh, 
they actually invited us to go attend the Cesar Chavez fight when, when he fought here at the Don Haskins, uh -huh. one of his last fights here. And well, to see uh, someone who we used to see it and, and TV all of a sudden in that gym made me realize, ah, it's pretty cool to do know, this. The people like him. And I started, uh, I started uh, fighting, uh, sparring with kids there. And um, it wasn't easy. First six months, I was wasting all the time. Then we had um, a sparring session where my nose was just bleeding all over the place. I wow. can't say no. To, to save my life, if you tell me to right now go sign a fight, I'll probably say yes. <laughs> so the next day they asked me, do you want to go in there again? I said yes. That carried on for about a week. Eventually, I landed right right in the face. And he started bleeding. And From that moment forward, I said, I can, I can do something. <laughs> I, I started practicing more. Um, so through the trajectory of my 10 years <clears throat> as an amateur boxer, um, I actually went to a couple of state tournaments national tournaments even and um, I had the honor of being recognized as the first recipient of the, uh, go of the scholarship for um, the National Golden Gloves oh, Association wow. so with that is how I got my computer science degree oh, so wow. it, awesome, it kind of it kind of is embedded in me who, who, who sponsored that who gave the who gave the scholarship the National Golden Gloves National Association wow. of America the official oh, one wow. the one and only the first ever I still have that little plaque that says first recipient and okay. interestingly on that card uh, was um, Austin Trout, mm -hmm. was uh, Austin Bra Brandon, Brandon Rios, yeah. wow. uh, uh, Abraham Han, mm -hmm. uh, this, the brother the of uh, guy, yeah. the world champion, Jennifer, uh, Jennifer Han, of course, uh, and many others to, to be mentioned, of course, you know, and I, I didn't go because I won state. I gotta, I gotta be honest, I didn't win state. What happened was I got their place. The second place uh, guy actually, um, he got up upset that he lost and he went pro. Hmm. And the first place broke his hand. Wow. Uh, fighting him. So it just happens that they were giving him time to set up the, 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 the nationals happened in Maine. Mm -hmm. And uh, it's late <clears> April. <throat> and they reach out to my coach. Hey, Cesar's still up for grabs. Why? Well, the first guy ain't gonna make it. And we'd rather just take someone than no one. <laughs> so they took me over there. And in that tournament, I was, um, I trained for two weeks. I got on it, I started running. My asthma or not, I didn't care. My coach was so happy. We just worked on it real hard. Wow. My other two brothers as well. Uh, we actually knocked out four guys out of five. Wow. We lost on the fifth one uh, oh, wow. to New York. And by split decision. As a matter of fact, I still have those videos and, and it's something that I hold very dearly because um, we're looking at a little kid I was 17. I, I consider myself a little kid at then. Now, now that I'm old and gray and ugly, <laughs> but back then, <clears throat> back then I was actually, I was actually very, um, very scared because I'm going up against people who have five-time national mm -hmm. titles mm -hmm. versus someone from where? Mm -hmm. El Paso. What is this? Mm -hmm. And and we forget that there's a lot of talent in El Paso that Absolutely. goes out and finds to be exposed somewhere else, mm -hmm. only to find out that they already had it with them and eventually get used. Mm. For someone else to be sharpened, mm -hmm. they want to come back to El Paso, mm -hmm. and then El Paso starts, you know, welcoming us. The people that here are, they just always a nice handshake. How are you? Good luck, yeah, no yeah. matter what. I, I've yet to hear anybody say anything negative, whether I win or lose. They always, you know, uh, con oh, congratulate the effort, and I think that's something that's got to be shared uh, in any field, not just boxing, sure. football. Or basketball, or yeah. engineering, of course. Perhaps, yeah. Wow, of course, man. And where did you go to high school at? Isleta High School. Isleta. 2004. Class nice. of 2004. Nice. Mm -hmm. Excellent, excellent. Uh, what weight? What weight did you fight at? What's your? You gotta, uh, man. My first fight, uh, 1999, was at 87 pounds. Okay. Wow. Is there even a uh, name for that? Uh, yeah, that's <laughs> the amateur stick. With some gloves. Mosquito weight. <laughs> <laughs> wow. wow. So, like recently, what, what, 130? So they, they moved all the way to 147. 147. 147. 147. Uh, on, so my first fight at 147 was against uh, another top competitor right now, Alexis Rocha from Santana. California. Mm. So this guy is 15 and 0 as, as well. Of course, I didn't beat him, so he still has that hope. <laughs> <laughs> but, but because of that fight, it opened up my my uh, my fight with Virgil in the undercard of uh, Triple G and Canelo. And Canelo. Yeah, yeah. Wow. Now that was mm -hmm. quite an accomplishment for me. Number one, because I was already out of the sport, three years inactive, 
three years, all so your like three that. years inactive. Three years oh, wow. inactive, uh, and um, <coughs> I still have my receipt. In um, in March, late March, early April, I was in the hospital due to asthma mm. uh, problems. Uh, two weeks later, actually, the following week, that was on a Tuesday. On Saturday, I said, "This can't be happening to me. I cannot be dying already. I'm too young." Mm. Uh, I was on the uh, 190 pound range, so. I took it upon myself to do something about it. Uh, interestingly, the, the, I got a call. They're like, hey, I have this guy. Uh, he's going to the state Golden Gloves. Do you mind helping him out? Do you mind inspiring him? Well, this guy's a middleweight. He's heavier than me. Like, well, at that point, I'm weight. And I actually looked okay. I felt okay. And I said, I can still do this. So I got mm-hmm. myself some pair of shoes down, down the street at uh, Academy. I went over there and got myself some shoes just for training purposes. And then two days later, my friend gets a call. Hey, they're asking if you're active uh, for a fight. <laughs> wow. When? In three weeks. I, um, Against who? Uh, this guy, he's been knocking everybody. <laughs> oh, <laughs> okay. Okay. Sign me up. All right, let's see. Well, wait, uh, uh, 147. Uh, I usually uh, fight 140. Oh, well, it's less to wait. I kind of chunky. Okay. But you, you were, know at that time, you were 190? At that time, I was 190. Ooh. 190, so I had quite Heavy weight. A, almost 10 weight. <laughs> my, 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 you know, like, I, <laughs> my weight was to drop, like, 40 pounds in uh, three within weeks. that time. Yes. Wow. Yeah, we, wow. we did it. We have, we made the weight. Um, of course, that's the scariest part of every boxing. Yeah, you know, you're cutting everything. You stop eating three wow. days before the fight. You're dehydrating. You're squeezing the last ounces. And, you know, you make the weight. And to from there forward, uh, that, that's just a reward. Yeah, you just got to make wow. the weight. Just making the weight. That's the discipline. That's, that's the hardest part. You mm. know, like, if I bring donuts here... Uh, no, no donuts. Uh, no, there won't be any so good. <laughs> yeah, and then they like I'll take them for you, bro. Don't worry. <laughs> you, you see, I'll sir. protect your career. It's easy. <laughs> it's easy. So, so then that happened. We went eight rounds with this guy, and uh, before you know it, I'm coming. I'm coming down uh, down from the fight, and um, um, Mr. Robert Gomez from Golden Boy comes to me. Uh, Robert Diaz, I'm sorry. Uh, Eric Gomez is the other one. So, so Mr. Robert Diaz comes to me and says, like, Hey, um. Damn, you got a lot of um, heart. Took yeah, me. let's put it that yeah. way. <laughs> <laughs> you got a lot of heart. Can you make 140? I'm like, yeah, that's what I fight. Like, all right, let's do it. Uh, get in shape. We'll get you called in September. I'm like, all right, cool. I didn't oh. care much. I didn't really know who he was. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Then a month later, we actually get the call. Hey, hey, it's happening. So then I started training for that one. I worked so hard. I actually. This is the fight against. That's virtual uh, up in Las Vegas uh-huh. uh, with uh, Triple G and yes. Canelo Gandhikart. Um, the video of the weigh-ins is actually on YouTube. Virgil didn't make the weight. He was half a pound over. Half a pound, wow. But he took off his chonis and then he made weight. <laughs> Interesting. Did, was he, did he, Heavy chonis. Yeah, yeah. Heavy <laughs> did chonis. he have a load or what? I don't know what's on him. <laughs> but the thing is, he made the weight. And, wow. And then you know what? Um, as a professional, as I am, as well as my team, Armando Montes, who helped me get the fight, mm-hmm. um, my my other boy who helped my mis- uh, my my muscles for therapy, uh, Bobby Cruz from Malo Fight Gear, he wow. actually helped me out. He goes in with a, with the skin tissue rubs. We recovered. We were able to get that going on, and before you know it, uh, we, I mean, like we squeezed literally the last three pounds were squeezed within the last hour. It was wow. that bad. We we trained ourselves to make 140. I had not been there since high school. Oh, wow! Man, so, so how intense was that? That was very intense. And then there's like 25,000 people in, uh, up in in front. You know, uh, first thing I'm thinking is, <laughs> I was three pounds heavy about an hour ago. I just put this uh, bag. Started running in the treadmill. Trash bag or something. And, yeah, like exactly. Or... I started chewing them. I did my tricks. I put la, la vela and everything. I did whatever <laughs> I could. <laughs> wow! I get on the stage and I make the weight. Wow! And I'm like, that's dangerous, man. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, yeah, you know. So I got excited. Every yeah, every boxer who's absolutely. ever had to that, I'm not gonna make weight feeling. To all of a sudden make weight, it's just exploded from there. Uh, the fight with Virgil went well. I, I believe the first round, I kept my distance, kept jabbing him. Actually, landed some shots. That guy's tall. He's taller than me, and he regenerated that weight real quick. Like I think he showed up at 160 to fight. Wow. The the. The dimensions were just not the same to what we weighed in. Like mm. it's weird. If you think I'm good at dropping weight, some people know know a couple know of tricks. Exactly. I don't know, yeah. right? And, and well, uh, you know, I told, uh, we got in a, locked in a clinch. 
He went for the body shot. I think I felt his knuckles in my oh, throat. <laughs> wow. How did you feel? Oh, I, I don't mean to I laugh, got man, but... I got up like, from the shot. shot. Fight night, how did you feel? What, what weight were you at? Fight night. Uh, fight night, I was around one, 147. So I gained up uh, seven pounds because uh, my, my body, when, when I work out, I get shredded. And it's uh, hard for me to... I haven't worked out in a while and I'm not that, that gained, you know. So mm -hmm. it, it, it retains itself. Mm -hmm. Uh, but you know that that punch went all the way to the Ooh. kitchen. I felt it, and then I actually got up. You lost your ear? Well, I lost half of my leg. It was shaking. Uh -huh. <laughs> so then I just looked at him. I'm like, you know what? I'm just gonna try to get this one in. Nothing and I, I I went like this, nothing but net, miss. <laughs> and then he went one for the body, one for mm -hmm. the uppercut, and then I I just it reminded me that my my leg needed to rest. And there's a time where you know you say you know what? Um, wow. It's probably this a good, good, good thing to just time out, stop. And I just resigned from the fight. I didn't get knocked out. I did say, you know what, why, why, why risk it? My, my, have, my daughter's watching. I don't want her to be putting her to something more uh, not pleasant to watch. Yeah, yeah. And at the end of the fight, we were uh, talking to uh, Minimi. Uh, uh, oh, yeah. He was around oh, there. He passed. Uh, yeah. I mean, he rested. Oh, Minimi, mini -me, yeah. Mini -me, oh, really? That's yeah. It, yeah. yeah. Vernon, yeah. I think his name Vernon something. Vernon, yeah. yeah. So he was there and he was like, hey, you're fine, man. So it was pretty cool <laughs> talking to him. Well, he left to the up and coming star. Yeah, that, yeah that, virtual. That guy, see, yeah. that's like, that's, 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 this guy, he's, if he's, isn't a champ. Already, he, he he's is, a uh, but by he that is, time, how many fights did you have awesome, under your belt? Man. He had how many? He had like twelve. No, he had about seven. We, we, he, we. No, he had six, six or six and no, all undefeated, all knockout mm -hmm. in the first round. Right now, he still has fifteen, mm -hmm. all by knockout. Yeah. Wow. So he's yeah, kind of like the lightweight Mike Tyson, uh, is what I've heard people call him. Uh, he's a really, really, really awesome person to talk to. Oh, I, wow. I, I hope, I hope, and and uh, to see him rise. Um, and be pushed as much as Canelo did because um, this this guy's pretty cool. He he actually likes to play guitar too. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah he, he's so good. you guys were cool before and after before. Yeah, it's it's a sport. It's always that. There's always that. Yeah, yeah. It's a sport. It's a weird in between. But for the most part, I like to skip the drama. I like to get to the point. Hey, how are you? We're gonna get in the ring. I'm gonna hit you as hard as I can, as many times as I can, yeah. <laughs> hoping that you don't hit me any times. <laughs> yeah. And the person does the opposite thing. Yeah. So it's it, it, it's it's a weird, um, beautiful sport. The sweet science, as you call it. Sure, sure. sure. Yeah. Carlos used to believe it or not. Carlos used to box back in the day. I don't want to brag. But yeah. <laughs> that was like 15 years old. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. I mean, it's it's just, but, yeah. but you but know, I, but I, I remember. 15 years I remember, old. I remember. I remember him when you were talking about that. I remember him with the trash bag. Uh -huh. yeah, and just running and, and sweating. I mean, we're, we're not that's when I was going through the looking for donuts. Oh, that's what you're going through the trash. That's what, it, <laughs> that's what it reminded you. <laughs> no, no, I enjoyed so, it, but uh, I was not serious about the training. It, I, I always had trouble with the training. Yeah. So hard. Man. That's yeah. a hard, but the discipline behind yeah. it. So. I, I, what, what is your, like, what would be your strongest what punch? Your, your, my, what? my strongest punch? You know, uh, or why you felt comfortable uh, that you if you could do it, you would knock him out. That yeah. kind of that kind of feel. That body yeah, shot's actually body shots, pretty right. good. Yeah, like you just kind of gotta lean in and aim for the heart kind of approach with your with your weight. Gotcha. Um, I have a I have a really good jab and um, I actually do. It's just that that the competition I would put up against is a little bit. You yeah. know, outside it, but um, at the same time, like I think my jab, my combinations are accurate. Nice. I have precision. I switch from uh, between orthodox or, or nice. left handed. So, so it's 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 a little bit of um, it's a little bit of a combination. Yeah, yeah. Cool, cool. Nice. Very good. What are the any upcoming plans? Any up, upcoming fights? Uh, not yet. As of right now, uh, no. I was considering uh, joining something this year as maybe something local. It doesn't have to be something flashy, um, you know, like it just happens that I got invited to those events. I mm -hmm. didn't look for them, mm. but I would like to contribute something local, perhaps, uh, I don't know. Some, yeah, yeah, some, yeah, I was even considering maybe some sort of, a, what do you call those, like a charity event? Sure. Mm -hmm. okay. Maybe a headgear just to spar, to really, or, or no headgear, just an actual fight. No uh, celebrity fights. Not Fifty bucks, take a free, a free shot or something, maybe. Well, and, and, and see, that's the thing. Like, even if I want to do it for free, it might be hard to get someone who would also want to do it for free. Absolutely. Because yeah, at yeah, the end of the day, you are getting. Sure. Oh yeah, sure, yeah. sure, sure. Oh, no, no, definitely. Mm -hmm. maybe, wow. maybe you and Carlos could put on some lips. <laughs> yeah, right. I do. I'd say I. I for charity. For charity. I'd be the charity, bro. <laughs>
I did have a couple of championship things that uh, I kept. I could say I retired. Mm-hmm. But, uh, of course, yeah, the tournament. Because champion. You were the was, so, uh, Silver Cup. Silver Cup. Silver Cup. Silver Cup, Silver. Battle of Champions, and some other stuff, too. But in all fairness, that's only because there was nobody else in my weight division. So I automatically won. <laughs> and, and, <laughs> by default. <laughs> so, yeah. <laughs> but, but, yeah, so I, I'm still going to take it. You made the weight. Right? Still, I made the weight. made the weight. Yeah. And nobody else showed up, so. Of course, you, you didn't find any, uh, I guess back in my day, you didn't really find too, too many uh, 120, 13-pounders, 13-year-olds. <laughs> Is that what it was, 120? Like, like 100, 120 or something like that. Yeah, so. <laughs> Yeah. It didn't yeah. exist. So. We'll, yeah, still, we'll uh, still give it to you. Yeah, you still, still, still get into training. I'm sure Caesar will train you. Uh, Why not? I, I do um, a little bit of personal training every once in a while. So people this charity? Out. Charity? <laughs> this charity? <laughs> so uh, speaking of your, uh, your daughters, uh, your family, when they watch you fight, how was that whole... Because I remember when I, was, you know, mm-hmm. when I was small, my mom would freak out. Oh, uh, yeah. Not only I remember him crying. Oh, <laughs> I, remember oh, brother. Brother. So I don't know that. Beat up, beat up pretty good. Oh, yeah. yeah, well, that. also too back in my, of course, you're at pro level, but when I was doing it, they were they were very uh, dishonest. Oh, yeah, I was fighting people. Corrupt. I only had like eight fights, and I was fighting people who had 40, 50 mm-hmm. fights just yeah. to get them in the ring. Yeah. Yeah, um, but how was your family when they saw you? Did they get all emotional? Or? My mom was a train wreck every fight. Every fight? Yeah, every fight um, because, uh, number one, she knew my asthma conditions to wow. her. She didn't want me to fight. She yeah. didn't want me to fight. Mm-hmm. But damn it, she never missed a fight. She of course, of course. So support always there from family, mom, dad, brothers, they all fought. So I had the, the blessing of actually being in an event with all my brothers at the same time. Nice. Uh, where I would actually... Uh, help him up in the corner and then go put my gloves on and then go right. fight go yeah so so a, a lot of times uh, my younger brother and i are the ones that fought the longest <clears throat> but my oldest one uh rafael he actually fought his first 16 fights by knockout and then uh, but he had similar to what you were describing he was the one with the um he was on a heavy set when he was younger uh super heavyweight so when he was fighting, <coughs> he wasn't fighting. No, let me see if he's gonna hit. like he, oh, was, yeah. he was. He was fighting. Like, move out of the way, or you're gonna off. sleep. Oh yeah. Yeah. So he always <laughs> brought the crowd to the feet. You know, like just constantly punching, taking punches, giving punches, and he he put up really good fights. He went all the way to the final on the Golden Gloves uh, oh, wow. stage. Oh, wow. So nice. so he he was a good fighter. <laughs> of course, life happens. Uh, we have our families now, sure, and sure. we have to put things behind us. Um, the youngest one, um, he also was part of big fights as well. Uh, one time, I, uh, I can recall, like, we went to, to Fresno to go fight, uh, you know, uh, uh, Mr. Garcia from uh, up in, uh, in, in Cali. And uh, what was, we, were, we were the, undercar- the uh, underdog. Hmm. And um, we were there, and I, I'm in the corner, I'm working his corner. I'm like, you know what? Let's do the following. Let's just enjoy this. You know, so I took my younger brother, Oscar, we, we're there, we're fighting, I'm telling him, okay, this round, whatever happens, just don't let him hit, I don't care if you don't get, if you don't hit anything, just don't let him hit, hit you, he'll get upset, he'll get frustrated, sure, he got frustrated, <laughs> and next round, I'm like, all right, this time, he wants to play the defense, you play defense too, and we're for the cut, so there was that strategy, we actually took not just the fight but the crowd we got that standing oh, nice. ovation wow and oh, nice. you know to to know that el paso was put out there as sure. a city who out took someone from cali you know cali's huge yeah cali's huge yeah. You, you get a good fi- uh, a little different yeah there, you, you get a good fighter here that's one out of five you get a good fighter there that's one out of 50 maybe more that mm-hmm. are actually at regional champions so so that it the competition against Cali is, is, is difficult. Yeah, yeah. So the fact that we went there, that was good. But as far as them watching <coughs> me fight, um, we were actually discussing that today. I told my, young, my oldest brother, I was coming over here for this. He's like, what? All right, cool, good luck. But um, <laughs> he, was, um, he was remembering a time that he f- saw me fight at the Don Haskins on TV. He couldn't make it to the show. So he's like, right there on TV, oh, let's watch him. And, and, and he did tell me, you know, like, like uh, he does tell me that every time that there's boxing fights now, that his kids come is is that Tessa? <laughs> oh, <laughs> so yeah, so, uh, so sure. it's a good feeling. Sure, and my course. my daughter, we had the daughter daddy daughter dance last week. Uh, she shows me off to her friends, and first thing she says is, "Oh, this is my dad." I tell him that. I'm like, "What? Oh, that you're fine." I'm like, "Oh yeah," and, and that you have my name on your shorts. <laughs> <laughs> that's it. That's what you like. You have my name on your shorts. <laughs> so so that's you know. Uh, it's not the money made on the fights. It's the memories that you get to share with sure. others. That that feeling of I know that guy. 
I know, I know that guy, you know. You see him on TV and it's not necessarily sure. the cops. Mm-hmm. That's a good one. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Live PD. Live PD. <laughs> now it's live PD. Now that's live right, PD. yeah. I remember a time where, where or I don't know about El Paso, but I remember New Mexico was like, boxing was really big. I mean, I remember like mm-hmm. almost every Friday or Saturday night, there was like a boxing down. at some fight. Yeah, somewhere. Yeah. Do, do they not have that here in El Paso? They, they, they do. They do. And I, um, the local uh, Golden Gloves are coming up, I believe, uh, first, second week of March. I can look into it and let you guys know. Uh, I was there last year. I went to go support local crowd. Uh, the, the, the local talent and also I've been wanting to set up a scholarship foundation pay, oh. paying it back nice. you know uh, I've been wanting to give them a, a starting something simple a thousand bucks goes, goes a long way sure. to pay for Definitely. tuition mm-hmm. um, something like that and maybe we can get people to contribute somehow there you go. Uh, I, I do I do feel like um, boxing is a really good sport that you can squeeze some good juice out of you mm-hmm. Um, mm-hmm. it's not forever mm-hmm. it's not forever it's and not I, for I I, I've <laughs> talked to former world champions, um, Cesar Bajan, uh, oh yeah, Cesar Bajan is one, is, uh, is one of them, Basan, my bad, Basan. Cesar Basan, Basan. Okay. yeah, and, um, and then also a couple of other fighters, uh, to include Cesar Chavez himself, a uh, senior, I was talking to him, he loves the sport, and, and, and a couple of other fighters, um, a local, that, um, pretty much give it their own yeah and at the long run some people don't really recognize him and then it, it has his peak sure. when you're climbing sure. up there everybody wants to give you oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Mm-hmm. you lose one fight and everybody starts talking bad about you mm. sometimes like i said it happens but at the same time um it's a it's a personal sport you know sure. like boxing you really can't blame anybody for losing mm. it's only you nobody's gonna hit him for you sometimes <laughs> yeah, that's true. Very wow. true. Yeah. Wow. Well, hey, well, you have a platform here, dude, to challenge other business owners or talk about that. Maybe something. Yeah, can we yeah. Come. So, so I know, I know, El Paso's got a lot of, um, it's got a lot of potential uh, with talent, not just uh, local local boxers. There's a lot of uh, entrepreneurs growing. It's mm-hmm. it's a big society. I know a lot of friends that have uh, software companies. Uh, I know a lot oh, of, nice. I know a lot of people that have uh, a lot of potential also uh, in the business of. Um, Beauty, cosmetics, uh, everything from organic. Uh, uh, there's a atomic ball beauty as well. Mm, One of those. Never uh, heard of them. Shout out to the uh, atomic ball beauty. Uh, they 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 actually sponsored me with a couple of lotions. Oh, yeah, so yeah, yeah, it works for guys too. Uh, That's why you're saying a plug. Yeah. 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 Well, I was gonna tell you to come in your in your exfoliation. In your, oh, okay. <laughs> I was gonna tell you to come in your in your in your boxing gear, but no, you're better with the suit, man. That boxing gear. <laughs> The yeah, boxing gear shirt. works. Yeah, <laughs> uh, I, I love I love boxing. I love putting those, those hand wraps. I love. Uh, mm. I train in my garage. I think earlier you asked where do I train. I I started training at the Carolina Center, but driving back and forth takes away an hour. So what I decided to do is train in my garage sure. after work, nice. and then I run up and down Joe Battle. Um, it's a good eight mile run, give or take, wow. at a sprint. I try to make it in about forty minutes. So I get on that, I call it the marathon. And if anybody's interested in, in uh, making a, a good mile marker right there, that's good. I also do my, uh, mountain biking. Oh, uh, nice. First of that with my good friend, uh, Edgar Padilla. He's, he's also one of those uh, soon to be a doctors from uh, computer science at YouTube. So nice. I, I, know, awesome. I know he's gonna be something <coughs> good coming soon. And right you know, on, yeah. uh, I'll, be, I'll be more than happy to see them succeed because if we don't encourage each other, then sure. yeah. it's very yeah. easy to it's get absolutely. your moral down. Eh, you're mm-hmm. gonna do something. Yeah, really. Right. Right. Uh huh. Yeah. And, you know, <laughs> how's your relationship with the other with the other fighters from here? Escalante. And- Escalante is a very good friend of mine. We were nice. roommates uh, <laughs> at the at the state Golden Gloves. Um, a lot of times. A lot. Of, I think I went there like four or five times, and he was there on those occasions. And um, we, I was his uh, sparring partner for a long time when he was doing those almost, almost monthly, if not weekly he fights was, yeah, at Solo Box. Too. Too. You know, a lot of people, a lot of people don't actually consider that he used to bring big fights to, to El Paso. You know, he's he's put the, the name out there of El Paso fighters. Mm-hmm. Uh, you know, he worked with Oscar de Loya. We, he was yeah. no joke. He had his heavy hand. Mm-hmm. He was uh, fast. And, wow. and and more than anything, he I, I always felt like he was down to earth, you know. So cool. so he and it, he fought big game, big names yeah, out did. there. Uh, Ponce de Leon is, uh-huh. is quite a dog, you know. Oh, yeah. And everyone else that that he got in, involved with. Wow. 
Yeah, he's doing a lot of promoting. Is he still promoting or? I've lost a touch with him. Oh, okay. I, I wouldn't know if he still is or okay. isn't. But I was able to fight in uh, two of his fight of his cards uh, locally here oh, nice. a few years ago, already awesome. probably like five awesome. years ago. And yeah. when they do have the local fights, where do they usually do them at? Here? Uh, they go maybe possibly the, the, the Coliseum. Uh, they yeah, just hosted the uh, the fight with for uh, Jennifer Han mm -hmm. uh, last week. Uh, she won. Congratulations, Jen. Yes. Good. Um, you know, showing uh, El Paso proud, of course. Uh, a couple of other local fighters. Um, uh, they they stand out in in the in the event as well. I, I didn't make it to the fights, but I, I heard that a lot of people uh, were there uh, to support them. I had my daughter, so it's either daughter or... Uh, so, oh, so yeah, <laughs> that's a tough one. Yeah, yeah, so, <laughs> so there's that. Um, uh, there's, there's many people that, that, um, that like to get engaged, involved, and of course anything helps, even if it's just a little word of mouth. Hey, I've sure. heard of this one person, mm -hmm. like, I think uh, uh, Josue Garcia fought there as well from a house of boxing. Garcia yeah, House okay. of Boxing. Oh, okay. So I think he, I, I believe he won as well. So congratulations to to Josue as well, Sorry. and and a couple of other uh, other local fighters. I think Timothy Mix fought. I hope so. If, if, <laughs> if yes, I know he won. You'll, He's really good. I find out. I know him since uh, for a way 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 back back in uh, amateurs. He was uh, one of those uh, national talents oh, that wow. we had in Las Cruces. Cruces. Make sure you uh, come talk to us when you have a fundraiser. We'll we'll be happy we'll to do some. You know what? That'd be great. That'd be yeah, great because I think I think a, a little bit goes a long way, sure. especially uh, locally. You know, maybe maybe yeah. Uh, like there's there's plenty of ideas that I've been uh, uh, thinking about, but uh, definitely I'll let you guys know. Mm -hmm. And maybe that if you guys don't mind, I'll invite a couple of my friends over so they can give you the. How nice I am and everything. <laughs> <laughs> well, do we believe you? We believe you. Yeah, we believe you, man. Perfect job. You're right. You're right. <laughs> oh, uh, man. My last question, man. Nelly. Favorite all time fighter? My favorite all time fighter? Um, you know what? I really like Muhammad Ali. Really? I really, 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 really like Muhammad. Go to Cassius. Do you know why? Because um, it's not easy. It's not easy to just go like that and look pretty and do it good, you know? And, <laughs> and, and win. He made it look good. And, and he made it look easy, look good. Mm -hmm. And he, that jab, that, that wasn't just a jab. Mm -hmm. That thing was a solid break coming in your face. Yeah. You know, so, so it, it's, uh, it's one of those legends that I think will forever. Mm -hmm. Classic. Forever That's good, go. Man. Excellent. You know, uh, but definitely Mexican fighters. Uh, there's a lot of them. Uh, that a lot of people, Finito Lopez, a lot of people don't know, mm -hmm. you know, uh, there's a, uh, but he's really, really good. I, my understanding is he retired undefeated and nobody knows. So, no, is that uh, yeah. red? No. no Finito Lopez. And then there's also um, Oscar De La Hoya. I think he left a really big legacy uh, as far as pay-per-views. Mm. Mike Tyson. Change, can change the, change the Tyson, whole pay-per-view. You know, man, yeah. Mike Tyson right there, uh, that was <laughs> my growing up. Nice. Oh, he's gonna fight. It's over. What? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> it's over yeah, for sure. But, but a lot, a lot of people don't realize that it takes a lot to get to that precision, to that power. Mm -hmm. You gotta remember, you you have very little to work with. This is your weapon. Very little, a couple of inches, mm -hmm. and the other guy you're trying to hit, he's yeah, he's doing <laughs> this all the time. <laughs> so the yeah. fact that so he was able to just jump and put you to sleep. Mr. Mike, if I, yeah, yeah. this ever gets to you, <laughs> this ever gets to me. <laughs> hey, Mike, we love you. <laughs> right on, yeah, excellent, yeah, excellent. Cool, well, yeah, man. Well, Thanks for joining us. Thank you guys. Thanks for having yeah, me. Guys. Yeah. Of course, yeah. wish you the best of luck, and hopefully, hopefully, if you're still up for it, if you're still on, I'd love to see you fight again, man. I don't see why not. But if you're not fighting, we'll catch you good. down jamming somewhere, right? Playing the bass. A little I bit. do like playing that bass. Yeah, I'll yeah, let yeah. you guys know if it happens again. If not, then um. Maybe we can have a jammo session here. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Whatever you want, man. You so come on over. Sounds out. good. Anytime, brother. Thank you. Thank you for joining us. Make sure to subscribe on the link below, on the button below. We are the Sign Broadcast. And once again, thank you for joining us, Mr. Cesar Valenzuela, El Paso. Knock him out, brother. Pro yes, Boxer. Sir. Thanks, guys. Later. Adios. We're signing off. Sign is the place where we make a sign.